An update tonight to a Fox 10 News crime alert that has many of you talking. We now have a composite picture of a man police believe attacked and sexually assaulted a girl who was walking home from school. Fox 10 News reporter Andrew Perez broke this story on Fox 10 News at 4 p.m. Andrew, police are hoping to catch this guy by morning, right? Oh, yeah, no doubt about it, Bob. This guy is public enemy number one right now. The composite picture, it was actually made on a computer program, which allows police to make a whole different face using bits and pieces of a bunch of other pictures. It's a very valuable tool. Police hope will get this guy off the streets. A patrol car stood watch outside LaFleur High School this afternoon, searching for a sexual predator. They say attacked a student who was walking home. I pray that. There, that something get done. Prayed up, man. Keep this pray all the time. So I hope it don't never happen to anybody else's family. Despite the concerns, police say they need a little more than just prayers. Take a look at this photo. It's a composite picture the 16 year old victim helped police put together. It's a bearded guy in his 40s. They believe he sexually assaulted the girl after she took a shortcut through these homes on Monday. It's a popular cut through only locals say they know about. Oh, probably is yeah, familiar with the area. I really want to know because I just heard about it this morning. The program police used to make the composite is Calm Photo Fit in color. Check this out. It's got some pretty dead-on results. Examples of other composites and actual suspects side by side. Police pull from a database of real pictures. Billions of combinations are possible. Program designers say you build the composite using five basic components. Different foreheads, eyes, noses, mouths, and chins. The resulting composite looks like people, not sketches. It's a valuable tool law enforcement says gets results. Police say they now need the public to step up. Get this guy off the streets. You want to be safe in the neighborhood, not being in a neighborhood where you can't walk and they to go home safely. Yeah, now we need you guys to play really close attention. Police are asking anyone with information to come forward. You can remain anonymous. That number is 251-208-7000. You can also text your tips, 274-637. Make sure you use the keyword CRIME411. The girl, by the way, she says that she kicked her assailant, which is likely what saved her. Her mother says she's, of course, very traumatized, but relying on her family tonight for support. For now, reporting live outside Mobile Police Headquarters, I'm Andrew Perez, Fox 10 News. Thanks, Andrew.